Here I have my basic slider crank mechanism again. And I'm going to show you how to align one of your parts so it shows up well in an engineering drawing. Here I'm going to look at this blue part, this link. Now if I want to make an engineering drawing of that part, go to File, New, Drawing, OK. I'll choose a standard template. I'll browse for the part. It's called Link. And I'll put two views into my engineering drawing. As you can see, this link comes in at an angle. And what I want to do is have this rotated so that the line connecting this hole to this hole is horizontal. So in another demo, I showed you how to go back to the assembly and align the plane of this part to match the master sketch. Now if I haven't done a master sketch or if I try and align these and the geometry goes all strange on me, there's a workaround where I can get this to align in an engineering drawing. What I'll do is make a new assembly containing just this link. I'll go to File, New, Assembly, OK. Now I'll browse for a part, choose the link, open it, click anywhere to put in this part. Since it's the first part in, in the assembly, it comes in fixed. Here I'll right click on it and make it floating. First thing I want to do is take the two top planes, I'll mate those together so they're coincident. And now I want to orient the front plane of the assembly to be in line with this link. So I'll select this edge on the link and select the front plane. Go to Mate. Make these coincident. Press OK. I'll close the mate window before going back to file and saving this assembly. I'll call this file link sub assembly and save that. Now to make the engineering drawing, file, new, drawing, OK. Select the template, and instead of choosing the link to put in, I'll put in the link subassembly, which will align with the axes of the subassembly, the principal planes of the subassembly, not the actual link. For some reason, this first came in in an isometric view. That's not what I want. I'll change it to the front view. Press OK. I'll go and insert another projected view. I'll put in a side view as well. And now you can see I have my engineering drawing here in the way I want it. So now I can start putting in 
some dimensions. And these are horizontal and vertical. 